Hello and welcome back to Maths Plus. We're continuing on the 2022 Leaving Sort level and we're on to question six now. So question six involves the circumcenter and we need to do the construction lines clearly to find the circumcenter. So first of all, place the compass at one of the vertices. So in this case, we'll choose X. So place the compass down here, swing your arc then and make sure that it's over the halfway mark of the line XZ. You could mark in your radius as well with an arrow. This will help with your showing construction lines. Again, repeat for vertex Z. Both arcs then intersect and that line through the two points will be your perpendicular bisector it bisects the line exit. We need to follow on for our second line, ZY, and do the exact same procedure until we get the two perp perpendicular bisectors. And they're going to in intersect in the circumcenter. So we could eventually draw a circle around if we wanted to, in this case, we don't need to, but it will go through X, Z, and Y. On to part B now, we have some information with the two triangles inside a circle, and one of the triangles is after moving. The point B is up to point C. We need to find the angle ADC. So let's investigate the geometry and see on what we can do. So it's easy to recognize the first theorem where ADB must be 90 degrees as it's two cords from the same diameter. And we can get ADB is 90 degrees. So let's put in our right angle. And so let's go on to the, the overall and we can see that we can apply the second theorem where the angles subtended by the same arc. In this case, it will be the arc BC. And we're going to go from B to A to C, and then on the other side. But that would be five degrees for both of those, as 45 degrees from ABD corner will actually um, have the same value on the other side. So we can put in five there, match them up, with it because of the same angle on the arc theorem, and therefore ADC is 95 degrees. All right, so that's part B. On part C, we have a we have to do a proof, and we're going to assume that a point O is inside, and we have to prove by contradiction. In this case, we're given some other information as well. We're given that. And the corner point okay, at R must be greater than 90 degrees. Okay, so let's put it all together. Let's start off with a central point here and maybe make it kind of on the, on the center and the lower side. And now we can assign um, some values to each of the angles. So draw lines from O to all the vertices. We can set alpha and alpha will form a isosceles triangle as PO and OQ are the same radii and it's isosceles. Right, so let's recap that PRQ seems to be important. So let's keep that in mind when we're doing our proof. So that's what it would look like when we're setting it up. So we're going to investigate the geometry now to see how it works out when we have the center inside the triangle. And is that possible when PRQ is greater than 90 degrees? So let's look at the center part and we're going to do a summation in the center. Uh, so all the angles around O 
will be described as 180 minus twice the corner angles. So it'll be alpha, beta and gamma will be in the tree of those parts. So now we're going to do some maths for or to work out. So let's add up the three angles. So 180 minus 2 alpha plus 180 minus 2 beta. And again, 180 minus 2 gamma. So they are all the central angles and that's a full revolution which is 360 degrees. So this is awesome. Now we can use this information to test the geometry of where we have a circle, a center inside the triangle. So on the left hand side we have 180, 180 plus 180 is 540. Now we're going to sum up 2 alpha, 2 beta and 2 gamma. So we're going to get twice alpha, beta and gamma, all negative on this side. And that again is equal to the total of 360 degrees, one full revolution. So let's simplify this. Let's bring the angles over to the left hand side. So, so 540 total minus 360. And again, let's bring over the alpha, beta and gamma to the right hand side. We want to make the negative to a positive and that keeps it very simple so we get 2 alpha plus beta plus gamma so we can simplify further on left hand side we have a result of 180 from the difference and the right hand side again 2 by alpha plus beta plus gamma and again let's divide across by 2 so we get 90 degrees on the left hand side now and that will be equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. So that result now is significant as we're going to reuse that now in the in the part of the proof and let's see does it make sense with the information. So that's conclusive, 90 is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma. So let's begin, go back to the angle PRQ and we, we will write it in terms of alpha plus beta. So remember that's greater than 90 degrees. So it means that if we look at this information closely and we have shown that 90 is equal to alpha plus beta, beta plus gamma okay, makes that our argument uh, impossible. As if we add it in with the alpha, well, we, we will exceed the 90 degrees. So therefore, it's not true. And therefore, oh, cannot be in the circle cannot be the circumcenter in and it cannot be inside the angle PQR. So by contradiction it must be outside. Just like in our construction earlier. Alright so let's do a quick recap. 6A we did the circumcenter construction. 6b we looked at the theorems we had the same angle on subtended from the same arc on either side we correspond to those and in part c then we had to set up the geometry so we did the proof by contradiction and alpha plus beta is greater than 90 therefore alpha plus beta plus gamma cannot be equal to 90 degrees. So pretty tricky question so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for viewing and please give a thumbs up 
and look out for my next exciting video.